Welcome, Illumineers. I'm your host, Rush, and today we're going to take a look at Amber Ruby Midrange. With this deck, it's going to come in at $676.60, a little bit on the high side. It's got a 60 card deck. It is primarily running Ruby cards at 37 cards to 23 Amber. We have 48 Inkable and 12 Uninkable. We're going to start out with four copies of the Queen because it's an excellent one drop that can shift into the five drop Queen very early. We have four copies of Mother Gothel. This is a great engine to start the Rapunzel card draw. Four copies of the Queen. This is a great early rush character, which can really shut down early aggro decks if they don't get the right protection online. Four copies of Sheer Khan that allows us to push forward with questing while eliminating opponent's threats. Four copies of Rapunzel because she is still very strong in the card draw engine, especially when fueled by Mother Gothel early on. Early on. Five, four copies of the five drop, the Queen, an excellent turn two shift, if not the best turn two shift in the game. Her ability to manipulate strength totals can let low power characters take out high power or reduce the high strength of some characters to send multiple characters in to eliminate a threat. We are running four copies of Maui as ways to eliminate opponent's threats while still gaining us lore off Shere Khan. We have four copies of Queen of Hearts for some card draw off of our challenges. We have four copies of Lady Tremaine because she's an excellent six drop. It can really help us narrow down our opponent's threats on the board. Four copies of Stitch, uh, Carefree Surfer, so we can get some more card draw because it is very important. We are also running two copies of the seven drop Scar as a way to help eliminate down opponent's threats if they get well out of control and we haven't caught back up yet. And four copies of Maleficent if the game goes on that long so that we can play out a fair amount of them. This doesn't come very up very often unless you're running the lanterns, which is why we're running four of them to help fuel ahead on, on that, especially if we're going against decks that are mainly control oriented. Three copies of You Have Forgotten Me to help slow down a great number of decks in the format right now. The biggest one is the Popsicles deck, which generally gets down to about three cards or two cards before its engine goes off and a well-timed you have forgotten me can really slow them down three copies of teeth and ambition to help eliminate some early aggro targets as well as put some damage on characters for rapunzels to clear them off as for items we're running two copies of shield of virtue because we are a challenge based deck so being able to ready those characters and challenge again or quest with those characters and challenge afterwards is very important we already went over the fact that we have four lanterns to help push us forward. And we are running two copies of Dinner Bell, which we are testing out. I haven't seen the deck need these for card draw. We might end up changing them out for something else. Maybe um, another Teeth and Ambition and a third Shield of Virtue. Or maybe just the fourth You Have Forgotten Me because of how important it is in the format right now. Well, the deck list will be in the description down below. If you have any feedback on the videos or the deck list itself, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, by the end of this weekend, we should also have a Discord prepared as well as some Facebook groups that we will start listing in the descriptions down below. And on Monday, we're going to start our Zero to Hero Challenge where we're racing towards Grandmaster. So I'll use a separate account for all of my testing so that we don't mess up the numbers on that one. Let me know what you guys think and let's get into the video. We're going to get rid of the nine drops and the two uninkables. We should probably get rid of the queen of hearts too. Not bad. Really like to see a queen, but you can't always get what you want. Give a nice greetings to our opponent. See what they're playing. Probably Amethyst Bounce. Yep. So just play a Mother Gothel. 
Hopefully he does not have another befuddle. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass and let him get to eight. It doesn't go for the card draw. He has some more in hand that he's going to play on three. Oh, he has a couple options. It looks like he's taking a minute. Right, we're going with Madame Mim. You have forgotten me is not terrible. We'll go ahead and heal up Mother Gothel. Gives us a decent amount of cards. fuel in his hand, so. Hopefully he plays out a couple of low drops and not just a four drop like the rabbit. Okay, Sings friends on the other side. Okay, it's a decent hand for us. He still has four in hand, so we're going to try not to use that. We'll go with the Mother Gothel into the Inkwell on this one. Let's drop the Maui. Take out Madame Mim. We will... Sing, Ethan Ambition, dealing the damage to Rapunzel, we take out the Maleficent, quest the other two. Drops a rabbit, singing he'll go after Maui. Actually, good. There's a couple different options. Maui, I think, is probably the best one, but Shere Khan might be pretty good too. Quest Maleficent. All right. So we'll send Gothel into Maleficent. Stays alive and gets us the lore. Don't want to lose Maui just yet if we don't have to. We could play another Shere Khan. Or we can try to. Yeah, I think. I think using the You Have Forgotten Me kind of turning off his momentum a little bit is probably best. What did 
Diddy drop. I think we're gonna ink the other Shere Khan. Wonder if that's gonna be a mistake there. I should have questioned with, with her the way. Just gonna go ahead and send Merlin in. I'm gonna drop the Lady Tree main. Just running out of steam. I think we had pretty close. It would have been two turns for us, I think. And he definitely would have been more than that because he was going to lose everybody he was questing. Oh, GG to our opponent. All right, so we're going second. Maleficent is really high for the drops. I think we only need one Rapunzel. Scar and Lady Tree Man, I'd like to keep some inkables. Shere Khan really isn't necessary until late game. Not terrible. same deck. I think I'm going to ink a stitch here. The only reason I did that was so that they only know that we're on Amber. healing or maybe trying to use it to utilize scar better at this point i'm going to assume they're playing scar all right so for two drops ethan ambition won't do anything for us we could keep it from questing by playing the queen So we'll drop a sheer con. We will shift under the queen. Request it. package.
turn three. It's a tough one. I think we're gonna ink the teeth and ambition. We'll play out shield. drop this turn. Alright, gonna remove a card draw from us. So we will clear the two off here. I'd like to see three, but that's not bad. We're gonna still quest both of these. We'll quest Mother Gothel. Does quest the Rapunzel. Straightens it with shield. Yep. I think we're gonna ink the queen. And we'll play out Queen of Hearts. We're just gonna keep questing. I don't want to go much farther than where we are. I'm expecting to have a board wipe. Assuming Rapunzel? Or are you just gonna Play something to remove damage to get card. Draw. All right, we had that one in the bag. Thank you for watching, Illumineers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date on everything Lorcana. I'll see you on the next one.